everybody, welcome back. If you're new here, hi, Mercury. So today I am in a park because I heard that there's art in the park. And by now um, we should all know there's art, I'm gonna find it. Because I love it, I love finding art in New York City. So today I am in City Hall Park. So we are literally right by the Brooklyn Bridge on the Manhattan side, right by City Hall. This is the park right out front of City Hall. And there is an exhibit set up here called Prank. And it sounded very interesting. So I figured I'd check it out. So I'm bringing you with me. Come on. So this is the first placard for Prank. And it says that it's running June 6th through November 22nd this year by Falada Barlow. I hope I pronounced that correctly. So let's go check out this art. So here's the first piece. And it looks kind of like, like one of those like when you're in the back in the storeroom and you're you have like a cart where you move stuff around it's kind of like one of those carts you know it's it is on wheels it has wheels on it and there's like a figure up top so interesting figure it kind of looks like like a little marshmallow guy little marshmallow guy or girl little marshmallow figure yeah this was the first sculpture. And here's the next piece. There is like furniture definitely incorporated in this one. So let's check out the placard. So this one is called Truant and it's made of steel, fiberglass, and lacquer. And let's see. So it almost looks like, like a wooden couch. Not wooden, I mean, it has wooden color, but metal, there's rivets. Look closely. There are rivets in there holding that together. And then that's like another couch turned upside down on its, on top of the other couch with another one of these like marshmallow figures in the top corner there. So here's the next sign. And it says this next piece is called Jinx. I wish that these signs told a little bit more of what the artist's intention was behind these pieces because um, they're very abstract. But this one is called Jinx. So this one is another stacked furniture. So this one is stacked tables. And then again with like the little marshmallow guy. So let's get closer and take a look. So it's stacked like coffee tables and like a wedge, like a like an oversized door stopper, like this thing right here, this wedge, or a ramp. Maybe it's a ramp. Could be a ramp. Yeah, but it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, six stack tables, a couple of, couple of wedges in there. Yeah. It looks, it looks precarious, but I can also see it's like well connected too, but it gives an illusion of precariousness, which is interesting. And there's this marshmallow guy. I'm curious about these marshmallow figures. Like, what do they represent? What do they mean? I'm really not sure, and I don't have context. And at different angles, it looks like different things. Like, at this angle, it kind of looks like a bird. But if we go over here, it no longer has that bird look. I'm not sure. Art is interesting because sometimes it's like very, very obvious what it means, what the intent is, what its purpose is. And other times it's, you're like, what? What is, what is this marshmallow thing? I don't know. But the thing is that not knowing and making you think about it and making you almost create your own story sometimes is part of that process and makes you feel like you are part of the art. Oh, he, he did some good tricks. Um, but yeah, it, it really pulls you in and then you feel like maybe you are part of the art and that thought process and that interpretation, it's all part of it. So let's keep going, there's some more. Here's the fountain in the middle of the park and I could see the next sculpture, so let's go find it. And this one is called Antic. My friends, I am full of antics. This, this piece must be for me because I am full of antics. So this is the piece called Antic. No, the dogs are full of antics now. No, I'm antics. I don't know. The chairs. We're back to the chairs. We're back to the chairs, people. Okay. So it's all stacked chairs. We got like two, four, six, eight, ten, like 
a whole bunch of chairs, at least 10 chairs here. I'm not counting them all, but a whole bunch of stacked chairs. Again, at a somewhat precarious angle and another like marshmallowy figure. It almost looks like a bunny rabbit at this angle. Like he climbed up and like now that he climbed to the top, now the chairs are like not well balanced and, and the bunny's at the top, but he's like so full of energy and momentum and he's leaping and these chairs are gonna fall behind him. That's, that's the story that I'm getting. The bunny antics where he climbed up the chairs and he's gonna knock them over because he's full of antics. I don't know if that's the intent behind that piece, but that's the story I made up and I am going with it because that story amused me. They're on the other side of the fountain and I found more. So this one is called Hoax. This is Hoax, which at first glance makes me think of a piano but it seems to just be like tables and wedges, but it had that piano shape at that angle. And again, with like this marshmallowy kind of figure. So tell me in the comments, what do you all think that this piece is meant to be? Like I'm seeing a piano, but like, what, what do you all see? And what do you see in like the marshmallow looking thing? Like, what is that? What are you seeing when you look at this? What is this making you feel? What is this inspiring you for? Let's start a conversation about that. Okay, on to the next piece. This one is pretty cool. This one is a little bit more straightforward in my mind. This one is a little more obvious. And this one is called Mimic. And again, steel, fiberglass, and lacquer. And this piece right here, this is called Mimic. So it's like going up the staircase that's like suspended, not suspended, but propped up on little stilts, little skinny stilts with that marshmallow bunny figure at the top. So mimic means he's copying. So what is he copying? What do you think is being copied here? Now this one is really interesting because because of the trees and the sky and the way it looks, I'm getting like this optical illusion effect of like which way is it pointing? And I don't know if that's translating onto that camera the same way it's translating to me in person, but it feels almost kind of like the Mona Lisa where it's like, is she looking at you? Which way is she looking? Is she smiling? Like it's moving with me is the way it appears when I'm walking back and forth like that. That's pretty neat. There's this big medallion on the, the ground at the entrance of the park over here. It says the Cradle of Liberty. Henry B. Dawson, historian, 1855. It must not be forgotten that the park is still the refuge of the people. That is what it says around the outer edge of this medallion. And then as we go inside this medallion, it looks like some history. 1665 to 1775 under British rule. 1776 to 1779, the revolution and independence. New Yorkers gathered on the commons to hear the declaration of independence read out, li out loud and in the presence of George Washington and soldiers of the Continental Army. Two months later, New York City was captured and became British Army headquarters in America throughout the Revolutionary War. So he had schooled in a bit of history over here just by looking down. It continues on to talk about different eras. This was 1800 to 1835 or about City Hall. 1836 to 1869, progress, prosperity, and civil war. 1870, 1897, the Federal Post Office. 1898 to 1938 expansion. Over here is 1939 to 1998. Renovation and excavation. And 1999, the restoration of City Hall Park. It's a nice bit of history right there. And easy to just walk by. Not just walk right by, but walk on top of right by. Like, and just not even, like if you're not paying attention to where you're walking, you can literally walk on that and not realize 
There's a, a chunk of history right at your feet. Right there, right there. Okay, I'm not done. We got one more sculpture. This is the last one. And this one is called Jape. So this one is Jape. And it looks like a bunch of cabinets. And again, the, the marshmallowy figure. I really want to understand more about these marshmallowy figures that are on all of these sculptures. Like, what do they mean? What do they represent? I mean, I love making up stories about them. I think it's wonderful and delightful, but I'm curious what the artist's intention was behind that. So, these are a stack of cabinets all piled up and the little marshmallowy guy on the other side. This is it. This is the last one. So I hope that you enjoyed this. This was a great little, you know, area of art in New York City. There is free art to be seen all over New York City. Some in the parks, some on the streets, some in the subways even. That's right, if you pay attention to the subways, you will find art. I have found sculptures. I think in 14th Street there are ravens. I have found mosaics all over. The stop by the Museum of Natural History has great ones. They like look like fish and like animals. They're wonderful, wonderful. Art is all over. I love it. I love living in a city that promotes art and puts it on display for everyone to be able to enjoy. Everyone, anyone can come here. This is just a public park. Anyone can come here and see the art. And I love that. I love the accessibility of art. So with that, I am done for the day. I will see you all real soon. And until then, stay inspired by everyone. Take care.